What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. So today I'm going to talk to you about YouTube SEO. And you know, I'm a web developer. I focus on WordPress and I started my channel about a year ago. And I did it, you know, really to try to help my clients and people, you know, learn how to use WordPress and learn how to, you know, install plugins and how to, you know, configure the plugins and stuff like that. But recently I started to think to myself like can I, you know, make my videos do well within the YouTube algorithm? Can I start ranking well within the search results? So I started, you know, to do some research and I've studied SEO for years when it comes to web design and development and how to rank well in Google. So guess what? YouTube is owned by Google. So a lot of the strategies, you know, still factor in in terms of the YouTube algorithm. Some things are different and I'm learning a lot by, you know, following the path of others. And uh, one thing I've realized is that even as a small time YouTuber, someone who is brand new to this with very little subscribers, because look, that's very low. Guys, come on, help me out over here. Click that subscribe button. Let's get this number up. All right. So even someone like me that's brand new can still rank well within the search, you know, within the search results of YouTube. Now, what am I talking about? So earlier today, I did a video on YouTube tutorial free music for your videos. Now that's my title. I chose that title because I ran a search in the search bar for that term and I saw that it got a lot of results. So I'm just gonna paste that in there and show you what I mean. All right, so this is the results. 46 million nine hundred thousand results. That's pretty awesome, right? That's a lot of people. So you think my video would be buried all the way on the page like 10,000, right? But no, I'm on page one. New video, just uploaded a couple of hours ago. You know, look at that, just one view. Come on, let's get that up, let's get that up. All right, so I'm a brand new YouTuber with a very low subscriber count and my videos still rank well. How's this possible? Well, you're probably saying, well, you're, you're logged in, Joe. Come on, seriously, you already know that. You know, you're gonna get fed, uh, you know, stuff based on your history, based on your preferences, things of that nature, right? So I'm logged in. That's a very valid point. So now let's see what happens if I go into my friend incognito mode from Google. Let's see if the results are going to be the same. So what I'm gonna do now is go into the incognito mode. All right, so I'm on YouTube. I'm not signed in. I'm in incognito. So if you need to know how to do this, you could just go to, you know, you can go to the uh, um, Chrome icon and then you can right click and then you can choose new incognito window. All right, so I'm here in the incognito mode and I'm going to run that search. All right, look at that. Still 46.9 million results, and I'm still on page one. Now that's cool. All right, so you're probably saying, all right, but you know what? Google, you know, they, you're still using their product. You're still using, you know, their, you know, Chrome browser and stuff like that in order to get that. So they probably have a way to piece all this together. Very good, you know, very good thought process, you know, finding a way to see how you can get unbiased results in terms of, your, your rankings and status. And this is important because you wanna make sure that what you're doing is actually working and you're not being misled, right? All right, so now let me go to Opera. Opera is another search engine. You see I have no search history here, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into the address bar here. I'm gonna put youtube.com. All right, so now here I am, again, not signed in, I'm in a different browser altogether. I'm gonna put in that search term. And look at that, still on page one. Wait a second, 46.9 million results, still on page one. I'm a small time YouTuber, you know, just put this up earlier today. And those are pretty cool results. I mean, you know, the reality is that you can get to page one as a brand new YouTuber. Now, there's another thing, you know, I'm always scratching my head and trying to say, well, wait, is there still a way that they are, you know, um, feeding me the information that I want to see? That's possible. So let me go, wait, let me take it a step further. New privacy window. But let me go further than that. Let me turn on a VPN, a virtual private network. So this changes my location. All right, so again, this takes 
no history, no cachet, no nothing. I'm going to go to YouTube.com. I'm going to put in that search phrase, press return, and look at that. Oh, it just went up to 47 million results. I must have done this so many times, I popped it up to 47 million results. All right, but I'm still on page one. Now, I'm in, a, in an entirely different location. You know, it's not based on my IP address. You know, this is a different web browser. I'm not signed in, and it's not taking in my cache or my history. All right, so how did I do this? So now let me show you what I did. You know, obviously I chose to put in the title properly, right? So I chose a title, and I put the title in there. All right, so now let me go back to the original YouTube channel. All right, go to my back end. All right, so now I'm back on Chrome. I'm back into the signed in version. Let me go to my channel. Again, again, people, come on, help me out over here. Subscribe. I'm going to go to my video manager. And I'm going to show you what I did. So basically, obviously, you need to give it a good title. You need to make sure your title is catchy, something that people will want to use, right? And then beyond that, you want to make sure that you fill out your description area and you want to fill it out almost like a blog post. I mean, this is something that, you know, people don't often do. And, you know, you look at some of the description areas and you'll see that they leave it blank. So that's not good. Um, you want to fill that out and you want to make sure you use your search term, your title inside of the description area. And then you also want to make sure you use proper tags. So obviously you want your first tag to be your title. So your title is going to be in your description. And then you want it to be the first tag that you're using. And then you want to share it on Google Plus. And you know, and you want to make sure you follow all the best practices. One thing I like about TubeBuddy, and this is what brought it to my attention, is that it showed me I'm ranked in the third spot. And I just put this up a couple of hours ago. It works. I mean, this is not rocket science. I would love to say that, you know, this is some guru stuff and some, you know, SEO magic, but it's not. It's just, you know, working with what, working with the basics and the fundamentals. Now, you got to remember, you know, YouTube is owned by Google, right? So YouTube, you know, is obviously going to be analyzing everything they possibly can about a video. Now, they can't always know exactly what's being, you know, said in the video. Even with their transcription services, you know, sometimes that messes up. So the easiest way for YouTube to analyze what's on a video is with the title, the description, the tags. So that's just the basics. You want to just make sure you have all the, the I's dotted and the T's crossed and stuff like that. And then on top of that, what you want to do is make sure you have a website. Now, I have a website, obviously, and, it, you know, I, I consistently blog on it. It's at piximweb.com. So I'm going to take this video and I'm going to embed it in my uh, website. This way, I get the opportunity to cross promote between my YouTube channel and my website. That's a great way, you know, to try to get your readers of your website to go to your channel and get to get your, you know, your YouTube video subscribers as little as they may be. You know, I only have about 207 of them as of now. Maybe you guys can help me out here, you know, to get them to go to your website. Now, this is a cross promotion opportunity. You know, obviously you want to take your your video URL and you want to share it on um, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, even on Facebook, I know Facebook doesn't drive a lot of traffic to YouTube videos anymore, especially since they're trying to compete. But, you know, it never hurts. You may want to message some people that you're really close to, let them know that you just released a video, and uh, try to get them to watch it. And to watch it fully and stuff like that, because watch time matters. If you can get your watch time up, that is one of the most important things you can do to increase your, your standing within the YouTube algorithm. All right, so again, just to recap, make sure you have a good title, make sure you have a nice long description, make sure you use the proper tags. Um, I created a playlist over here, YouTube tutorials, tips and tricks. You know, I'm doing this playlist because I am a brand new YouTuber, pretty much. I mean, I started last year and I wanted to just uh, document my journey on YouTube and to just give some insights that I'm learning along the way and you know I'm following others also that who have a lot more experience than I do and I'm learning I mean there's a lot of different areas that you can learn from here so just you know just realize that you don't have to be you know a big-time youtuber in order to 
um, get to be on page one. The search algorithm for YouTube, you know, is pretty understandable. I mean, they want you to have consistent videos. So I, I've been putting up videos every day for the past couple of days. Um, they want your watch time to be up. So it's important for you to reach out to people, you know, to see if they could watch your videos. And that's why you should build up your email list and also have a website where you can drive traffic to your channel. And it's important that, you know, you just be consistent about it. So that's it. I'm a small time YouTuber. You know, I really just started not too long ago. And as you can see, my videos that are just a couple of hours old is already making it to page one. All right. That's awesome. All right. So hopefully you guys found this episode helpful where I just spoke about how a small YouTuber can do well within the search uh, results of YouTube search. Uh, just remember, title, description, tags, and try to get that watch time up. That is a major, major factor. All right, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to document my journey here on YouTube and try to give you some insights on what I find works and what I find might not work so well. I mean, obviously, I'm probably going to trip along the way and make some mistakes. So, all right, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Take care. Oh,